friends, the next story we have is Froggy Gets Dressed. As always, it was written by Jonathan London. Often we hear Froggy getting dressed and he zoops, 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 and he runs off and sometimes he gets red in the face. I wonder what he might be getting dressed for. I noticed the weather's a little different than it is outside today. It's only November here and we don't have this kind of weather just yet. Do you have any predictions about why he might be so excited and why the whole story is about him getting dressed? Are you ready to start? It was cold. Froggy woke up. He looked out the window. Oh, snow! Snow! He said, I want to play in the snow. Much different weather than going to Hawaii. Go back to sleep, Froggy said his mother. Don't you know? Frogs are supposed to sleep all winter. Wake up when the snow melts. We've talked about this before, and that big fancy word is hibernation. The frogs here in Flat Rock like to go underneath the mud, and they rest all winter long. But no, no, cried Froggy, I'm awake, awake. I want to go out, and I want to play in the snow. So Froggy put on his socks, zoop, and he pulled on his boots, zoop, and he put on his hat, zap, and he tied on his scarf, zoop, and he tucked on, tugged on his mittens, zoom, and then he flopped outside into the snow. Flop, flop, flop. You know what this says. Froggy called his mother. What? yelled Froggy. Did you forget to put something on? Froggy looked down. Oops, cried Froggy. I forgot to put on my pants. So he flopped back inside. Flop, flop, flop. He tugged off his mittens, untied his scarf, took off his hat, pulled off his boots, he left his socks on and he slipped on his pants. Zip. And then he pulled on his boots. Zoop. And he put on his hat. Zap. And he tied on his scarf. Zip. And he tugged on his mitten. Zoom. And he flopped back outside into the snow. Fla, fla, fla. What do you think's going to happen next? I see mom. What do you think she says? That big word always has his name on it. Froggy called his mother. What? yelled Froggy. Did you forget to put something on? Froggy looked down. Oops, he cried. I forgot to put on my shirt. And your coat, added his mother. So he flopped back inside. Flop, flop, flop. He tugged off his mittens, untied his scarf, took off his hat. He left his pants, boots, and socks on, and he buttoned up his shirt. Zoot, zoot, zoot. And then he snapped on his coat, zap, he put on his hat, zap, and he tied on his scarf, zwit, and he tugged on his mitten, zoom, and he flopped back outside into the snow. Flop, flop, flop. Look what we have here. This poor guy can't get a break. Mom's at the door. Froggy called his mother. What? said Froggy. Did you forget to put something on? Froggy looked down. He had on his mittens, he had on his scarf, he had on his coat, he had on his shirt, he had on his pants, he had on his boots, he had on his socks. He reached up, yep, he had on his hat. What could he be missing? <gasps> Your underwear, his mother laughed. Oops, cried Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. He flopped back inside, flop, 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 tugged off his mittens, untied his scarf, unsnapped his coat, unbuttoned his shirt, unzipped his pants, he pulled off his boots, took off his socks, he left his hat on, and he slipped his long johns on with a zip of elastic. Now he put on one sock, zoop, and he pulled on one boot, zoop, and he tugged on one mitten, zoom, and he started to tug on the other, and he let it drop and said, I'm too tired. And he went back to sleep. Good night, Froggy. Boys and girls, when the weather gets colder, we will be going outside too. Um, I have a story about mittens that I love a lot. And I'll look for some different fun activities for you to do if you check this out in Seesaw. Stay well and I'll see you soon.